All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I got this new transmitter kit in the mail, and I just wanted to uh, make a video on it and uh, just show you all about it. Uh, this actually came from AliExpress, and it is the GA4H transmitter kit. Some of the specs to it, uh, four channels, and you see the model type, which you can use it for whatever you want to use it for, I guess. But uh that's the range rf range we're gonna test the range on this because i don't know for this to be so cheap i don't know actually how good it's gonna be but uh you see the specs on here so now, one thing I noticed on here, it has a low voltage warning, so that's always good to let you know before your battery run down on your doggone remote and you got your car going at high speed. So, But anyway, this is what you get in the box. Four channel switchable, four channel receiver is waterproof. Uh, another thing... As you see, the operating voltage, fully proportional, servo reverse for both channels. Let's see your trimming function, your dual rate, your fail safe, battery status indicator. So I just want to show you all this. So, uh, so let's get to the remote here. So this is the remote, and like I said, it's, it's a thick, strong, I mean, like, made radio. I mean, it's not flimsy in your hand. The throttle is real stable. It's real stable. Like, it's not loose, and you can really have that control of that throttle, that real throttle feel. And it's the same with the steering. I mean, it's... It's tight, and it has that uh, feel like you have full control, real full control of the throttle and the res and the turning on this receiver, on this radio. I love the option they gave you uh, with an indicator uh, meter. Let me turn it on so I, you can all can see what I'm talking about. So that's the indicator meter. And as you see... It beeps and like I said, it also has a meter. So what I want to do is uh, put it on dual rate, turn a notch. So I let you know which dog on camera will focus. All right, so get it on dual rate steering. All right, so now the thing about this is to adjust it, you know, you got your plus and negative over it, so you adjust it the way you want. And it'll actually beep. But you also see the meter go over to the right when you increase. So now it's full. So now you know you're at max uh, dual rate steering. And now I'm going to go back to half. And that is half, I believe. It's middle way, so. But yeah, I like this because of that. Because I've had a uh, radio with all the trimmings like this, the options like this. And it only beeped. It didn't give you this meter. So you pretty much have to really listen to those beeps. And if you wasn't listening to the beeps, you pretty much guessing where your midpoint was or you know where you want to be at so uh but like i said this thing it feels good in the hand uh for it to be so cheap i mean it feels good in the hand and like i said the steering and the throttle on it man it just feels real good and real tight so you can really have control of the steering and the throttle and so uh and by having the warning uh 
the low voltage warning uh, for your battery and all that. That is nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to take this out and test this and see exactly what kind of distance we can get on this. Like I said, it does have a uh, fail safe on it. Uh, this is how the receiver look. I already got everything plugged in. Uh, but yes, four slots. Like I said, the number four slot is the auxiliary slot, which right now, um, this is your fail safe. You can uh, set your fail safe by pressing that button. So I have to hold it down for a few seconds. And, but anyway, this is it. Try to give you a good look at it if my camera will focus. So it is 2.4 gigahertz and uh, not a bad, not a bad little radio kit for under 20 bucks. I mean, this is what you're getting. So uh, we're going to take this out and test it out and see exactly uh, what kind of distance we can get with the signal. It comes with the little manual. Tell you how to bind it if you need to bind it and all that. So, but anyway, all right, guys, we actually put this in my son's DR10. Uh, we got another radio for the DR10 to go in here, but since this one came, we want to just test this out. So, we put it in my son's DR10 and we're gonna check it out and see what happens, you know.